Glory to God, praise Master Jesus. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. I want to especially appreciate everyone that is connecting with us today. The Lord bless you. My name is Ambassador Federico Brozo, and I'm the privileged conveyor of the War Room Prayer Platform. I want to say this to you. The God of heaven has promised to make you laugh this month. He said two things are going to happen to us this month of September. Number one is going to, this September is going to bring you deliveries. Number two, this September will make you laugh. I don't know what has taken your joy, what has taken your peace, what has taken anything that should make you laugh. But this is the month where you will believe that God also makes people to laugh. No wonder the Bible said in the book of Psalms, it says, and the he that sits in heaven shall laugh. God also, also laughs. Now, God wants to send that spirit of laughter to everyone that has been waiting. To a woman, when it's nine months, everything about her is expecting laughter. When she has been sleeping on one same position for the past eight months, now she is waiting for just that day that we make her laugh. There are people like that, the Lord said, you have gone through all the trimesters of your pregnancy. That miracle you are pregnant of, this is the month that miracle make you laugh. That miracle you have waited to let the whole world see, it is this month is going to happen. Two things God is interested in doing for you this month. Number one, he wants to deliver to you laughter. Number two, he wants to bring to pass the laughter. So join me this evening because we have a guest in the house tonight. He has been here before. He has been a blessing to us before and he's going to join us again once again tonight. I want you to know this night, God is going to make your laughter possible. Someone said, the Lord will make my laughter possible. If you can type, type it, I would have loved that. Type it. God will make my laughter possible. God will make my laughter possible. Begin to type it in the comment section. God will make my laughter possible. With God, you will laugh. With God, you will laugh. Hallelujah. Praise God. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you because you are God all by yourself. Thank you, my father. You don't need a man to make you God. You are God all by yourself. Thank you, my father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blahase Shada. Thank you, father. Mighty God, I bless your name. Holy One, I worship you, for you are God all by yourself. You are God all by yourself. Mighty God, I bless your name. Holy One, I worship you, for you are God all by yourself. Ayabala Gadoshada, Ikapalada, you are God all by yourself. Ah, for who you are, I bless your name. For you, you are, I worship you, for you are God all by yourself. <laughs> for you are God all by yourself. 
For you are God all by yourself. Shaka bala da bala. For you are God all by yourself. You are God all by yourself. Marasa pare katoba. For you are God all by yourself. You are not a man, no. You are not a man, no. You are the God who opens doors no man can shut. You are not a man. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you, Jesus, no one like you. No one like you, Adepharati. No one like you, are we my own? You're the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you, Jesus. No one like you. No one like you. Jesus. No one like you. Are we Maya? Ooh. You're the God of everything. No one like you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, la hare meke te balada. Ah, thank you, Spirit of God. And I ask the Lord, oh, yes. what name fits you? And he said, yeah. <laughs> and I ask the Lord, what name fits you? And he said, Yah. Yah, the hallowed one. Yah, the holy one. Yahweh, the king of Zion. He are the hallowed one. He are the holy one. He are the king of Zion. First it was fragrance. Oh, yes. Then it turned to fire. My worship is my weapon. Kapaya na makoba. This is how I win my battle. First it was fragrance. Then it turned to my defense. Ayamakaba. My worship is my weapon. This is how I win my battle. You know, but Brad Dawson had an accident. It was a ghastly accident. When I saw the video, I knew that man was not ordinary. When I saw him stand, you know, the, 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 the car squeezed, but there was a space that was open for him to stand inside the car. When I saw that, I like God. That the man's worship has become a smoke in the atmosphere. Mm. And 
I, I, when I saw that, I, I just knew this is God. A worshiper cannot just die. It's not possible. It is what? Not possible. It is not. There are people that serve God. And there are people that God serves them. Can I say that again? There are people that serve God. And there are people God services them. Now, now I don't know if this camera can get this. Now, this is this is the accident. Now, it's it is a man that blesses lives. This is him on the white. This is on the white. Can you see it, everybody? Can you see that? That's the accident. The car. It was squeezed together, but that point, and do you know what the Holy Spirit told me, Ma? He said it was an angel that tore that part open. It tore that part open because it cannot you cannot tear open a worshiper. God cannot allow His own. That's Pastor Dawson there. This is him here. God cannot allow His own die. A, see, it is better for any help person to die, not a worshiper. That is why we are worshiping this even so that God can put laughter in our mouth. God can put laughter in our mouth. And when I saw that video, I said, my God, what would have been said? Another worshiper dead. Mm. We were just mourning one already. Uh, what is it? It's in a chi, right? Otinachi. Then another. No way. Can I confirm something to you? Anyone that is a worshiper that is watching me, this year cannot take your life. Amen. Everybody, type it, type it, type it. This year will not take my life. Amen. Somebody type it. This year will not take my life. Amen. Hashtag war room. This year will not take my life. Hashtag war room. Target everywhere. Put it on your timeline. Put it on your status. This year will not take my life. Hashtag war room. Everybody, I want to say everybody type it and share. Type it and share. This year will not take my life. Yes, this year will not take Ambassador Fred Obozwa. This year will not take any member of this platform. Type it. Hashtag borrow. Everybody, everybody. I too, I want to type it. My God. That is prophetic. That is prophetic. That is prophetic. This year will not take my life. This year will not take my life. This year will not take my life. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can somebody just go ahead and hashtag war room? This year will not take my life. This year, this year will not take my life. This year will not take the life of my son. This year will not take my life. This year will not take my life. Say that to yourself. This year will not take my life. This year will not take my life. Hashtag war room. Please, please target, target, tag somebody, tag somebody. This year will not take my life. This year will not take my life. This year will not take your life. This year will not take your life. Amen. Sandra Esoy, this year will not take your life. Amen. Gift by daughter Abosele Olabari, this year will not take your life. Amen. Oh, my able barrister, Olushola Alokaki, this year will not take your life. Rukewe Esther Obozwa, this year will not take your life. Amen. She, daughter of the Most High, this very year will not take your life. Ihene Benedicta, 
this year will not take your life. J. Frederick Obozwa, this year will not take your life. A kapale bokoba, a rabaka tebayata, repakasoba, berry moloy moleye, this year will not take your life. Makapare kosobra, shabuo taro, this year will not take your life. Barakatoba, adasa brown, adasa brown. This year will not take your life. Usman, Sube, Sube data. Julie, this year will not take your life. Everybody type, type amen so that I can call your name. As I call your name in the realms of the spirit, whatever that wants to happen with me, this word, there was something that met with those in her. There was a worship atmosphere. It was going for a program when this happened. Uh, listen, the year wanted to take his life. Uh, when I prophesy to everyone connected, uh, this year will not take your life. Equem uh, Chide Ma Esther, this year will not take your life. Akoparaka Yama Rena Okereke, this year will not take your life. Please type, type. Let me call your name. Let me call your name. Amara Chuku Jennifer. This year will not take your life. La Pakatoba. Ya Pela Kapoya. Everybody share. Everybody share. If I call your name, you will not die this year. La Pakatoba. Para Toba Ya. Ye Pateba. La Pekatoba. Mate Kerada. Depa. Dapa. Raketo Bayata. This year will not take your life. Rekete Bara. Rekete Bara. Rekete Kaba. Rekete Katara. Rekatoba. Flores Ipeme, this year will not touch your life. Baraka Poyata, Rakata Baragata, Ragata Baragata, Ragata Gadaka, 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 as we are praying now, I have seen the spirit of death go far from people. There's a spirit of death. There's a Yaya Gabaya. Ayama. September will not take your life. Please, as I'm saying it, type it. As I'm saying it, type it. September will not take your life. October will not take your life. November will not take your life. December will not take your life. Baraka Poya. September, November of Ayamaka. It will not take your life. Palaka Sebayata. Mikoya Saba, your children. This year will not take your children's life. Maye Pola Yakabaya, Zegete Baraka, Zoka, Dopenaka, Eh, Kameka Barash, Kalamalamala, Nalalalalala, Namalalala, Shatadadadada, Bakada Malata, She, daughter of Most High, She. She, daughter of the Most High. Do you have anything to do with a do state? She, daughter of the Most High. Do you have anything to do with a do state? Or have you ever had anything to do with a do state? She, do you have anything to do with a do state? Benin City. Do you have anything to do with that era? Shatapayata. Okay. I was born school in a okay, good. Because I don't see you as an indigen, but I don't know what I don't know what happened. I don't know why I saw you in a do state. She let me tell you this. Karte Kabaka de 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 ba. Your past will not okay. I tell you Benson in that was investing. Glory to God. Your past. Your past, I'm hearing your past will not have the victory in this your future. Amen. I don't know what I have to do with your past that wants to conquer you, but I, I agree with you. Your past will not conquer you. Amen. I say your past will not conquer you. Amen. I don't know something happened in the past in that those state. I don't know what it is, but it is not good. It was not good. 
it was not good. I don't know what happened at those states. I don't know. But I'm seeing your past will not conquer your present. Your past will not conquer your future. Your past will not affect your children. Kakepa, kakeba. Zabaya, ekada. Jamana makobaya, ekabrekata. Refate kasabaya. I don't know if I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a girl. I'm seeing, a, my mother died in a dose. Okay. Kayamala barasoperaka. No sickness will take your life. She, don't, what's your name? What is your name? On bypass. Because I don't understand the pass. And let me tell you this. What the Lord is showing me that somebody wants to repeat something on on an highway. I don't know. Okay, progress, Chijima, that's your name. Because I don't understand what I'm why I'm seeing a dusted. I'm seeing Benin. Benin. And let me tell you this. Lero Sefera Mashada. See. You will not die. Amen. She, daughter of, Z daughter of Most High. I said, she did my progress. You will not die. Amen. You will not die on the way. Amen. I said, you will not, your mom died. Ah, ya bagaba. I'm not the preacher of tonight. My God, my God, my God. If I still have time, I will go, I will dive into the prophetic this night. Kapela hasabalate entama. Is it three children you have? Is it three children you have? How many children do you have? There's one special girl I'm seeing. There's one special girl among your children. Oh, how many girls? Because I'm seeing one special girl. Your last is a girl. Your last again. You have two boys, one girl. Ah, how many years? There's something special about her. Two girls. Okay, two girls, one boy. There's something special about one. That's what the Lord said to me. Now, hear this, hear this, hear this, hear this. There's something about you, this woman. Pile Kabala Resefi Malana Tobaya Covetita Zazas Sobena Kaba A year old. Now, now, it's not like you are in a hurry for her to talk, but I don't know why there's this concern. That you were told about that your daughter. There is something they told you about your daughter, and that is your fear. Is that she's a special child? But I pray for her. Wait, hold on. Okay, yes, it's true, doctors. All right, that's what doctors know. That's what they said. Who sang this song? I know my redeemer lives. I don't know that's why I'm hearing that's your daughter's name. I know. Nicole, Nicole sang that song. Nicole sang that song. I know. Am I correct? That's the singer. My Redeemer Lee. I know. What's your daughter's name, please? My lips. All of creation. Oh, yeah. I know. 
Frakatin Akin today, what is your English name? Because, sir, while I was looking at Frank Akin today, and I know your English name is Nicholas. So that is why I heard that song. And I heard Nicole. The grace of God is upon me. Like I said, I'm not the preacher of tonight, but I, I don't know why. Somebody must laugh. Amen. The name okay. Okay. Oh, la Ramata. No wonder the angel of the Lord was talking to me this evening. Okay. Okay. Now I know. Chi progress. Let me tell you this. Tonight, God will visit her. Mark chapter 9, verses 22. Now, the Lord said to me, woman of God, while I was just meditating, and he said to me, look for this scripture. Because there are certain special children that the Lord wants to visit their case tonight. Special children, autistic children. I don't understand because Mark 9 22. The Bible says, and oftentimes he had cast him into the fire. Oftentimes, he has cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Now, do you know why the man there was telling Jesus, have compassion on us? Because that boy was a consign. That boy was a consign. That boy was a community consign. That boy was the father's consign. Now, when there's a consign in a family, laughter is found. Instead of the father to look at the son, to begin to laugh, instead he cries, instead he's consigned, instead hospital here, hospital there, one deliverance home, another deliverance home. That is what the devil can do. Devil can take the joy of a family. The devil can take the happiness of a home. The devil can step into a home and take laughter from that home. True sickness, true special cases. Now, this young boy's case was a special one that oh, everybody shared this broadcast, shared 10 times. Wow, my, my beloved brother, Pastor Stanford Ikende, that's the pastor with the deep matters. Deep matters. The man of God is so deep, is so deep. Huh? Now, hear this, everybody. Every, everybody hear this, hear this. When there is a consign. In the family, when one child, maybe the child was born normal, all of a sudden he begins to grow into a strange medical specimens. All of a sudden, doctors begin to name, give medical jargons. Listen, if you give birth to a child and nothing is wrong with that child, Give God the glory. Because you don't know what God has done. There are mothers that are crying every day when they see some of their children. What's that? Satan has decided to take laughter out of the house. There are people today they are going through monthly repeated delay because Satan has decided to take laughter. She, daughter of the Most High, 
if demons have decided to take laughter from your home, the Lord have me to tell you, he wants to bring back laughter. Hey, hey, hey. This has been a consign. That's what the Lord is telling me. It has been a consign. Now, in fact, as I'm saying this, you are overwhelmed. You are shocked. The grace of God is upon me. And my ears are open. Hear what the Lord is saying. And what I say to her, I say to everybody. Anyone. Capita. <laughs> she, you have never called me. If I don't have your number, you have not even sent me a message one day. Oh, you told Adasa Brown last week. Adasa, did you tell me? Adasa, I can't even remember when last I even spoke to you, Adasa Brown. I can't remember when last we chatted. Oh, you told Adasa Brown. Adasa Brown, did you tell me? Oh, my God. Wow, 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 I think I need to just go now because, oh, okay, that's a brother I just confirmed. She didn't tell me anything. But while we were worshiping God, as a brown, God bless you. Now, hear this. She, daughter of the Most High. No. Who gave you progress? She, Chidima, who gave you progress? Sarah Joseph, God bless you. This year will not take your life. Amen. Sarah Joseph, this year will not take your life. Amen. I don't know why I'm seeing this progress. Okay, your mom. Because I'm not seeing paternal giving you that name. There's, there's, an, there's an evil name. But this progress, because seven days were, was happening, there's this bond between you and your mom. Is this your mom's picture or your, or your data, or your status? Or your DM? Is it DM? What, what? Your DP, is that your mom? Is that your mom? That that's the is your mom. Paula Tata. Everybody share this brothers. Oh, she's the <laughs> Because I'm saying this woman. <clears throat> Jesus help me tonight. Oh my God. Pastor Jeff is already here. Oh my God. Listen, the grace of God is upon me, and my eyes and ears are open. This woman. Hey. Ha. See, your children, your children, Chidema progress, your children, we eat of your labor, Amen. and you, we eat of your children's labor. Amen. Now, the grace of God is upon me, and my ears are out. I'm hearing this woman did everything. She is a prayer. Ayama. She prays, oh. Ay, 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 ay. Hmm. Mama waka. She de waka. Mama de waka. There was one time they began to manipulate and call her a witch. She's not a witch. She was a woman. She was a woman like Sarah. She was a woman like, no, not Sarah now, not Sarah, not Sarah. No, no, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Who is this woman I went to inquire? Um, Rebecca. Rebecca, yes, Rebecca. Rebecca went to inquire what was in her womb. So that is how your mom was. Now, let me say this one. This is very funny. People began to see your mom in the dream. And they were telling you that your mom was sending them messages to give to you. 
Please, can you confirm this one? Oh my God. Dala Mekadaria. See, if you have anybody that is a, if you have a mother that is prayerful, if you have a father that is prayerful, please, that's the greatest gift you need. Oh, yes. Ah. See, every investment of prayer that woman prays for you, may they begin to speak for you now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I say, every kayama. Now, can I, can I, can I pray this for people? Where is Sarah Joseph? Where is Sarah Joseph? Where is Sarah Joseph? Can I pray this prayer for everybody? Anyone that has lost a Christian mother or a Christian father, that's what I'm hearing. A Christian father or a Christian mother, anyone that has lost these two precious people, anyone that lost as in a Christian, a believer, not the one that is serving God and going. I don't know what the Lord is saying. I want to visit the parents, the prayer of lost parents. I don't understand this. I don't understand this. My Jesus, my dear. See, every good wishes. That's what the Lord is saying to my ear. Every good wishes. Every good prayer. Your late mother prayed. Your late father prayed. Adabi nadu du shataya. Arada da 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 da. I see a thousand and five angels right now dispatched. What are they doing? They're collecting the prayers of dead mothers, dead fathers. Oh, they are praying. They are releasing the blessings. Take your own. Take your own. Take your own. Any genuine grandfather. I just heard that one. Grandfathers, grandmothers, all their prayers that are genuine. I say, Alata Ota, let it begin to manifest. I said, the prayers will manifest. What happened to them will not happen to you. I said, what happened to them will not happen to you. Jesus, you will laugh. The laughter your parents did not laugh before they died. You are the one that will laugh it. I said you are the one that will laugh it. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. My God, my man of God is here already. I, I just wish to go. I, I feel the prophetic fire. God bless you, Apostle, Apostle Anthony. God bless you, sir. My God, my God. Hmm. All right, Pastor Jeff, let me just bring it up because I, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel a fire. My God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Masefete Shadaba. All right, are you ready for me, sir? Melo Payata. Eh, Saba. Eh. Every genuine you prayer, your parents have prayed for you. All right. I hear some people in the rest of the spirit. What about me? My parents, my father is alive. Redeemed. Now, if your father, your mother is a Christian, I don't know why God is doing this tonight. I project into the day they made those statements. I enter into the room or the altar. They make those good statements. But the spirit, I collect all. And I say, let them begin to locate your name. Locate your name. Locate your name. Locate your name. Locate your face. Locate your picture. Locate your job. Every good thing they have prayed, it will land on you. And it will make you laugh. Hallelujah. So sorry, Pastor Jeff. I've yes, eaten sir. into some time. But sir, you have the stage and the grace of God. I'm going to be taken up from you by, um, I think, uh, about... Um, you have till 10, 15, sir. Or 10, 20. 10, 15, 10, 20 minutes. 10, 15 or 10, 20. From there, I think, because we, we keep to time now. By the grace of God, we keep to time. I tell you, sir. So for, you have the state from now to 10, 20, sir. 
Go ahead. Okay. Now, let me say this to everybody. Pastor Jeff Johnson is anointed. Is anointed. Now, when good-looking men begin to dish out fire, it's a sign of Jesus is coming soon. I'm telling you the truth. We are in the last days. So with Jesus joy, join me and welcome. I want everybody to just type, welcome Pastor Jeff Johnson. Everybody join me. Welcome me. He's an anointed man of God. He's deep in words. And he's rooted in the world. And I believe the Lord has a reason. He's with us today. And he's going to put laughter through God's words in your spirit. Oh. I'm sensing this up. God is after people's spirits tonight. So open up your spirit. And I tell you, you'll be blessed. How about you, Pastor Jeff? More grace, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you very much for the wonderful opportunity, sir. For the opportunity for bringing me up once again on the War Room family. I am part of this family and I am a proud member of this family and I really appreciate what God is doing through this ministry. I am really blessed. I've been blessed physically, spiritually, mentally, and psychologically by this ministry. And this ministry has also been a means of uh, a means of mentorship to me, whereby I look forward and I say, okay, okay, we can do it this way. I've learned a lot of things from Ambassador Fred, and he has been a blessing, and I mean a blessing. And I believe that is a blessing to many of us and, uh, and the War Room family in general. And I really want to appreciate everyone who is watching right now from all over the world. I want to say a very big thank you to you. Uh, I will not want to waste our time because we have a very short time to go. But let me appreciate uh, Ambassador Fred and his wife, Ambassador Rookie, for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you very much. It, will, it is not taken for granted and it will never be taken for granted. Thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity. There are many pastors, but they called me and I really appreciate you, sir. And I want to also appreciate my father, Pastor Emmanuel Johnson, for his mentorship and his fatherhood over my life. And I also want to appreciate our father, our general overseer, Pastor Felix Johnson, for all God is using him to do in our lives. Quickly, I just want to say, Father, thank you. I just want you to online from where you are, just right and keep typing father thank you just say thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus give him thanks because he's worthy he's worthy for the bible says the, the entrance of his word give it light and understanding to the simple father lord we thank you father lord we thank you father lord we thank you for in jesus mighty name we pray according to the subjects that we have today we have our season of laughter it is our season of laughter if you believe it's your season of laughter, shout amen, shout amen, type amen. You can share this broadcast wherever you're watching from. Just keep sharing and keep putting the sticker of hallelujah, smiling. Make sure you're laughing. Make sure you do it. Make sure you do it. Put a sticker of smile, if smile of a laughter, if a joyful noise, of a sound of triumph. And let people who are online be confused and say, what is happening here? But just tell them something is happening. And what is happening is that I am laughing at my enemy. I am laughing at my mockers. I am laughing at those people who think I'm not going to make it. I am laughing at those who think I will not be alive up until now. Just do that. Just do it prophetically. Do it prophetically. I will read quickly from the book of Genesis. Genesis 17 and verse... Uh, verse 7, Genesis 17 and 17. Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, shall God, shall a child be born unto him that is an hundred years old? Hmm. So the first person to laugh was not Sarah. Let's go again to Genesis 18. Genesis 18 and verse 12 to 15. I'll read quickly. Then Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also? And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I for sure to bear a child, which am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time, I will return unto thee according to the time of life 
And Sarah shall have a son. And Sarah denied, saying, I laughed not. Consider that statement. Sarah said what? I laughed not. And he said, nay, but thou didst laugh. Now let us go to our anchor scripture, which is uh, Genesis Genesis 21 and verse 6. And Sarah said, God hath made me to laugh, so that all that year will laugh with me. There was one thing Sarah did, and what she did was that she denied. And when she denied, she said, God, I didn't laugh. God promised her a child. God promised her a child. And she lied that, God, I didn't laugh because she was thinking it was too late for her to have a child. And when the testimony came, the first thing that happened was that God caused that same denier, what she denied, the testimony she denied, the, 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 the incident she denied was the first thing that God brought into her life. She denied and said, God, I didn't laugh. And the first thing God did was to cause her to laugh. And God didn't stop there. Another thing, God proceeded. God made sure that everyone that heard her testimony laughed with her. There is someone watching me. When I was writing this message, it dropped in my spirit. There's someone watching me, particularly a sister. You are watching me and you are watching this program because of what you are going through. There is so much calamity. There is so much sorrow in your life. And that is the reason why you looked at the, the, the team of the program and you said, I'm going to watch. God asked me to tell you that he is going to cause you to laugh last. God asked me to tell you that your sorrow is his sorrow, your pain is his pain, that you should cry no more. Because of you, God asked me to topic this message, cry no more. The opposite of laughter is weeping. The opposite of laughter is cry. But the subject of my message this evening is cry no more. I just want you to type on your, on your screen, on your platform, on the platform, just type and say, I will cry no more, I will cry no more, I will cry no more, I will cry no more. Keep typing, keep typing, keep typing, type it prophetically and say, I will cry no more, I will cry no more, I will cry no more. I want you to know something. Abraham and Sarah began their relationship, began their marriage in the house of Abraham's father. Abraham had no child in his father's house. Lot was not Abraham's brother. Lot was actually Abraham's brother's son, which means Lot was actually Abraham's nephew. I believe it was so painful, it was a, it was a painful experience for Abraham and Sarah that the same Lot they saw to be born, the same Lot grew up to become a man. The same Lot grew up and got married, and the same Lot got married and had children and Abraham and, so, um, and, and, and Sarah had no child. Lot lost respect for Abraham because if there should be any argument between men, it should have been between the men of Lot and the men of Abraham and Sarah's children or child. But since he now began to drag position with a father, since he began to drag position with his uncle, it begins to feel that we are now in the same level. It begins to feel now that we are not on the same pace. It begins to feel now that we are not on the same level. And, and, and it began to disrespect and disregard Abraham until they separated. I was wondering what kind of pain it was for Abraham. I was wondering what kind of pain it was for Abraham. And I was wondering what kind of pain it was for Sarah. For them to be in their home and for them to be in their house and all their slaves, all their servants were having children and they had none. It was a painful experience. It was a painful situation that every time they had naming in the house of Abraham, that every time they had a ceremony in the house of Abraham that has to do with a child coming to this world, to their world, it was either that a maid got pregnant for another servant and they had to celebrate it. And it grew so was that Sarah had advised uh, Abraham and said, since the maids are giving birth, why not have one of my maids? And she gave her a guy. And Abraham met with a guy and conceived Ishmael. And another disrespect came in. 
another form of disrespect came in again. A guy began to disrespect Sarah, our mistress. And the Bible said she it, it, it was so serious that she had to chase out a guy out of the house. So many people, there's something we say here in Nigeria, they call it see finish. When people have seen you finish, when they've seen everything about you, they begin to mock you. They feel like there is nothing good that is going to come out of you. You can never become anything in life because when they were in primary school, you're already in secondary school, and now you are out of university, you have no job, and now you are out of university, you are, you are not married, and now you are out of university, you have no home, and now you are out of university and you have no child, and someone who you used to know that was in primary six, right now as a child, right now as a home, right now is married, and they think that they have overtaken you, and they think they, they, they have succeeded more than you, but the Bible says something that weeping may endure for a night but joy cometh in the morning I want you to know something that all that you have whipped up all from January up until now in this month of September God asked me to tell you that you are going to laugh last everyone who has mocked you everyone who has disregarded you everyone who has who has forsaken you everyone who has afflicted you everyone who has called you a name because of what you are going through because they think they have gone ahead of you because they think they have succeeded better than you because they think they have achieved more than you God asked me to tell you today that you are going to laugh last and everyone who is going to hear your testimony they are going to laugh alongside with you because they are going to check and look back and say that it was the same you that we left behind now when we look behind we cannot find you anymore but when we look forward we can see you running at the top god asked me to tell somebody that this is not a messenger but this is a prophetic program for somebody that you have been weeping all night all longer all day your family Family has caused you sorrow. Your pray, your parents has caused you sorrow. Your business has caused you sorrow. Your friends has mocked you. Your brothers has mocked you. Just like the same way they mocked Joseph, eh? they mocked him and mocked his. They put Joseph in the pit, but they couldn't put his dream in the pit. They put Joseph in the pit, but they couldn't put, put his dreams in the pit. They put Joseph in the pit, but they couldn't put his God in the pit. They put Joseph in the pit, but they couldn't put his prophecy in the pit. There is something that is driving you, and that thing is called prophecy. And that prophecy that has gone ahead of you, God asks me to tell you tonight uh, that you are going to laugh last. Uh, it doesn't matter what the enemy says. Uh, it doesn't matter where they sell you to. The brothers of Joseph, uh, they sold him because of his dream. And whenever he comes to them and tell them his dream, they began to laugh and say, do you think one day we are going to bow before you? I am Reuben, your brother. I am older than you. If anybody needs to bow, you are the one that needs to bow. And they mock his dream. Uh, and they laughed at his dream. Uh, and they thought they buried his dream. Uh, but they didn't know that they were only assisting his dream. Uh, God asked me to prophesy to somebody here this night uh, as you believe it begin to type amen and say to yourself uh, i am coming out of that mess uh, i am coming out of that situation uh, i am coming out of that retrogression uh, i am coming out of that affliction uh, i am coming out of that disappointment uh, everyone who has looked down on you they are going to look up to you very soon in the name of jesus jesus was on the cross of Calvary. And when they beat Jesus, Jesus was crying. I want you to know that there are two kinds of laughter. There is a laughter that is a mockery laughter, laughter from the enemy. And there is a laughter from the child of God that is a victory laugh. And Jesus, when they whipped Jesus, the Bible said he groaned. That means Jesus cried. And the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they laughed. When they hung Jesus on the, uh, on the cross, uh, they laughed and said, if you are truly the son of God, then come down and save yourself. But Jesus did not come down. Jesus did not jump down. Jesus did not reply them. Because that day was a night time. 
for there is a time for a man to cry. For the Bible says, uh, as long as the heaven and the earth remain, uh, that there is time and season. There is a season for you to cry, but tonight and this prophetic month uh, is your month of laughter. The same thing they did to Jesus. Uh, they mocked Jesus uh, and looked upon Jesus upon the tree, uh, upon the cross uh, and said, if you are truly the son of God, uh, come down. Uh, it even grew worse uh, than one of the thieves that was beside him, uh, told him, uh, if you are truly the son of God, save yourself and save boss. Uh, and it was as though Jesus had no dream. Uh, and it was as though Jesus had no prophecy. And it was as though Jesus had no vision. Uh, and it was as though Jesus had no calling. Uh, and it was as though Jesus was not the son of God. Uh, but when he began, when, when, he, when Sunday morning came, uh, the Bible said something. They went to the tomb of Jesus uh, to see the same man who was crying on Friday. By the time they got there on Saturday, the, uh, on Sunday, Jesus was already with a smiling face. Uh, I want you to know something. Uh, that the same Jesus they saw weeping on Friday. When they saw him on Sunday, he was already laughing. The crying Jesus, uh, he was already laughing. Uh, the crying Jesus on the Friday evening was the same laughing Jesus uh, on the Sunday morning. Uh, Jesus also wept in the manger, but when he resurrected, he began to smile. I believe when Jesus was walking on the street of Jerusalem, he was not frowning his face because it was his season of laughter. Friday was his season of pain. Friday was his season of affliction. Friday was his season of, uh, of, of problem and disappointment. But on Sunday was his season of laughter. On Sunday was his season of smiling. On Sunday was his season of joy. On Sunday was his season of happiness. Happiness. There is somebody watching me right now. God asked me to tell you that your season of pains are over. 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 If you believe it, I want you to type it on the comment section and say, My season of pains are over. My season of weeping are over. My season of crying are over. My season of disappointment is over. My season of failure is over. I am entered into September, which is my season of laughter. It is my season of joy. It is my season of smiling. It is my season of joy and happiness in the name of Jesus. A woman who is pregnant from the very first day she become pregnant, she become uncomfortable. But the moment she delivered that which is in her womb, Every form of discomfort ends. This month is a ninth month. September is a ninth month, is the ninth month of every year. September will not return next year and become eight. It will still remain nine. I want you to know something that in this month of delivery, you are going to laugh last in the name of Jesus. You are going to laugh last in the name of Jesus. You are going to laugh last in the name of Jesus. You are going to laugh last in the name of Jesus. Something happened in the Bible that shook me. Something happened in the life of the woman with the issue of blood. The Bible says something for eight years, for about 12 years, she was without problem. For 12 years, she was smelling and stinking. For 12 years, people mocked her and said, you are smelling, madam. If, you goes to the, if she goes to the market, they mock her. If she goes to the, bar, if she goes to the synagogue, they mock her. If she goes to, to, to whatever, wherever she goes to, they mock her. She had no family. She had no friends. But there was a day she heard that Jesus was passing and the same way Jesus is passing uh, on the ninth month uh, in the ministry of the healing stream. I want you to know something, that this program uh, was not just orchestrated uh, by divine choice, uh, by self-choice, uh, but it was in, it was orchestrated uh, and planned uh, by God uh, for every member and every family of War Room, uh, for everyone who is going to watch this, uh, everyone who is connected to War Room, God asked me to tell you that it is your season of laughter. It doesn't matter what the devil has done to you before. God asked me to tell you that it is your season of laughter. They mocked you. They, 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 they rejected you. There is somebody watching me right now. You went somewhere and they rejected you. And practically they laughed at you and said, look at you. you nothing good can ever come out of you. And the situation made you cry out of that place. 
But God asked me to tell you that you are going to go back there. And if you don't go back there, they are going to see you again. And when they see you again, God is going to change the story. Everyone who has mocked you, everyone who has ever looked down on you in that situation, very soon God asked me to tell you that in this month of September, he is going to give you a testimony that is going to cancel all their laughter. Jesus, when he wanted to, when he wanted to raise the dead, the Bible said he came in and said, this child is not dead. This child is only sleeping. And people around Jesus mocked him and laughed at Jesus. Because actually they thought that the child was dead. How are you saying someone who is dead is sleeping? So they laughed at Jesus and Jesus sent them away. Every I want you to know something. Whosoever is laughing at you, I want you to give them the room to leave. Anyone who laughs at your progress, anyone who laughs at your failure, anyone who laughs after disappointment, feel free to let them go. Free, free to do what? Let them go. What Jesus did in the Bible shocked me. When he saw that those people laughed at him, he drove them out of the room. And those people who were expecting a miracle, which was the father of the baby and the mother of the baby, he left them in the room. People you need for your destiny and people you need in this ninth month are not people that laughed at you, but people that will encourage you and believe in your dream. I want you to know something, that something happened in the book of Genesis. Before, the Bible, before God gave Abraham Isaac, the Bible said three men appeared unto Abraham and Sarah, and they did prepare a meal. One of the best way to have, to have laughter in this ninth month is for you to sow into the life of your man of God, which is Pastor Fred. So, because God had been promising Abraham, children, I said, no, I will give you a child. I will give you a child. I will give you a child. And until Abraham saw the seed, the child never came. Because when a man sleeps with a woman, he gives the woman a seed, and the woman makes the seed a child. But Abraham had not sown any seed that would produce Isaac. That was why Isaac didn't come. Abraham has been giving Sarah seed, but he has not given God seed. So because he didn't give God seed, the fruit that God promised him, the child that God promised him didn't come until he gave God a seed of offering by welcoming those three angels to his house and taking good care of them. And God told him that according to this time, every time God has ever met Abraham, God has always said, don't worry, I will give you a child. God has never put a specific time. But something happened when Abraham dropped the seed. The Bible said, and the Lord said, that according to this time, according to the time of life, by this time next year, Abraham and Sarah, you are going to have a child. By the mystery of seed, the siege of barrenness was broken. By the mystery of seed, the siege of crying and tears was broken. By the mystery of seed, this, the, 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 the the siege of disappointment was broken. Hallelujah. I can as well prophesy unto you and pray and bless you, but the truth is instruction is better. You want to see laughter in your life in this ninth month? That is your prophet, Ambassador Frederick Obozwa. So into his life and tell him, this is a seed for laughter for the month. Your seed is going to cancel your siege. Your seed is going to lift up every siege of your life, every siege of disappointment, every siege of weeping, every siege of failure, every siege of disappointment and, and, and rejection by the mystery of your seed. I've never done this before to come online and talk about it. I've never done it. But it just occurred to me now that the laughter of Abraham and, and Sarah would have continued even if they had lived for 200 years if they had not dropped the seed. Learn to sow into the life of your prophet because the blessing of the blessing of your life lies in the mouth of your prophet. For the Bible says, by a prophet the Lord brought out Israel out of Egypt. By a prophet were they preserved. The Bible also said, uh, believe in the Lord your God, you shall be established. Believe in his prophet and you shall laugh. 
Everyone who encountered laughter, first of all, encountered a prophet. A woman who was a widow of Zarephath was about to eat a last meal, but by the mystery of giving a, a seed to the prophet Elijah, Elijah helped her to cancel the siege of hunger forever. I want you to also know that the woman with the issue of blood also gave all that she had to the doctors, uh, but she gave her time to Jesus because she had nothing left. Uh. She gave her strength to Jesus. She gave service. Uh. Many of you cannot see Pastor Fred face to face to give him service. Do what? Paul says something. If we minister spiritual things unto you, minister back carnal things unto us. Pastor Fred did not send me, but I'm going to tell you what God is telling me. What God asked me to tell you is that you should drop a seed for laughter. If you want to see laughter in this ninth month, you must sow a seed to see it. I'm telling you, he didn't send me this. I'm very sure he knows he didn't send me and he cannot send me because all he just did is, sir, this is what you're preaching about. And I was preaching and it occurred to me now that what brought about the laughter of Abraham and Sarah, it was a seed. It was a seed that canceled the siege of barrenness. The same testimony that a guy had and was boasting and was boasting and said, now I have Ishmael. That same testimony was able to reproduce itself in the life of Sarah by the mystery of a seed. Remember that when the angels came to visit Abraham, it was Sarah that prepared the food and not a guy. Abraham produced Abraham brought the, 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 the cow or the buffalo or whatever they killed. And it was Sarah that produced it, that, that prepared it by the mystery of a seed. If Abraham had known that every, what I need to do was to sow a seed for Isaac to come, he would have sown it since. So instead of you delaying yourself and waiting for me to pray for you, it is better to take this instruction and run by the instruction and leave the prayer first. Sow a seed into the life of your man of God, Ambassador Fred. And you will see how God is going to cause you to laugh in this, 11, in, I mean, in this ninth month. I want you to know something, that when a woman is pregnant, she carries the seed for nine months. At the time, the same seed she's, she has been waiting for become a stress unto her. I want you to know something, that there was something about Sarah. The Bible said Sarah was shrinking in age. Just imagine your grandmother. Some of us, we have a grandmother who is 99 years old, who is 90 years old. Imagine that your grandmother being pregnant. Imagine you seeing a 90 years old woman walking on the road with her stomach shoot out. And you ask her, what is wrong with you? Are you sick? And she said, no, I am not sick. And you ask her, what is happening? And she told you that she's pregnant. Is it not a funny testimony? God asked me to tell somebody here that he's going to give you a testimony that when people hear it, they are going to laugh. But it's not going to be a laughter of mockery, but it's going to be a laughter of joy. I want you to know something that Sarah said something that I am shrinking in age. My, my womb is shrinking. The Bible said something that the womb of Sarah was dead. The womb of Sarah can be dead, but the womb of Sarah is still there. The body of Abraham can be weak, but the body of Abraham was still there. All God needs from you is your agreement. The Bible said something so far that God said, is there anything to add for me to do? There is someone here, you are going through some financial stress. You are going through some financial situation and you are thinking you are the edge of disappointment. You are the edge of failure. You are the edge of shame. God asked me to tell you that as the firmament covers the heaven, so shall it cover your shame. That you are not going to see shame. You are not going to see shame. I prophesy into your life in the name of Jesus. You that person that is going to such financial harassment that you are about to see financial embarrassment. God asked me to tell you that as the cloud covers, the as the firmament covers the heaven, so shall I cover your shame. God asked me to tell you that instead of your shame, it shall give you double glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am not here to preach. I am here to prophesy and give instruction. The same Elisha was in the land and there was hunger. But until they recognize the mystery or the ministry of Elisha, Israel could not live in abundance. Until you recognize the mystery 
and the ministry of your prophet, Ambassador Frederick Obozwa. You are not, I mean, you cannot laugh. I'm telling you, it takes more than comedy to laugh. You can go for a night of a thousand laughs and come back and be crying on your bed. It is not everyone who goes for a night of a thousand laughs when they're happy. Look at it very well. Just go and watch a night of a thousand laughs. No matter how funny the comedy is, not everybody is laughing at the same time. Some people are frowning their face. Why do you think they're frowning their face? Because their situation does not require comedy. What their situation requires is a prophetic word and a prophetic delivery. You can watch skits online. You can watch whatsoever online, some comedy skits that makes you laugh for a moment. But the Bible says it is the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is thy strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. You can as well laugh for a moment, but you see, there is a joy that never ends. Uh. There is a laughter that never ends. Uh. I want you to know that what could, what, what kind of joy, what kind of laughter could it have been in the mouth of Sarah and Abraham, waking up every morning to see Isaac, their son, waking up when it was one month, the laughter was still there. When they were 100 years, the laughter was still there. When, when Sarah grew old and died, uh, grew old and died, the laughter was still there. Their testimony was there. When Abraham grew old and died, uh, the same laughter was still there. Somebody, God asked me to tell you that he's going to give you a testimony that is going to outlive your lifetime. He's going to give you a miracle that is going to outlive your lifetime. That even when you are gone people will still refer to you that even when you are not there people will still refer to you if you believe it shout a believing amen type it online and say amen i receive amen i receive amen i receive in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i receive in the name of jesus finally i'm going to say i'm going to share this story with you and when i'm done with this story i welcome back the man of god online so that i can bless us all and we can go because i think i have four minutes more Four minutes more to go. Yes, hallelujah. I'm going to share this story with you. There was a situation. Not four happened. minutes, sir. Not four minutes, sir. God bless you, sir. Not four minutes. You are running up by 10 20, sir. Oh, so this is okay. just 10 12. Okay, Please I have eight minutes. Release more. everything, you, sir. Release I have, everything, sir. Hallelujah. I have eight minutes more. I want to share this testimony with someone. Somebody called me one day and said something to me and said, why are you wasting your time serving God? You are intelligent, you are smart, you went to school, you did this, you did that, and blah, blah, blah. And I laughed. And I told the person, I said, the race is not for the swift, neither is the battle to the strong. Hallelujah. But time and chance happening to them all. And I also remember where the Bible talks about that bread is not for men of wisdom. Achievement is not for men of vision. That you have sense that you are working does not mean that you achieve more. And I looked back and I look at the person's life now and I look at my life. There is, the, the gap is very wide. I remember in those days when I was in the university, there's this young man, when we are doing the exam, he will cover his notes. Because, uh, you know, people, people around him want to spy his notes and say, like, come on, teach us something. And he'll be like, no, 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 no. Then one day we came out of the exam and I said, those people are around you, why not teach them? And he said, no, 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 no. I don't want, I said, in school, in this school, there is no first. You can have first class, but you see in life, there is no first class. You don't know who have first class. First class is not as a result of who labors more. Hallelujah. First class is not as a result of someone who is brilliant. I told the guy, and he said, no, 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 no. I know what I'm doing. By the time I'm out of school, by next year, I'm done, I will have my job. Up until now, there is no job yet. You know why? Because life does not answer to certificates. Life does not answer to 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 uh, to life, life. Life does not answer to skill. Life does not answer to intelligence. Life only answer to wanting. Life only answer to prophetic declarations. If if it was by skill, if it was by strength, the Bible said, and the children of Israel grew strong in the land of Egypt. Then if it's by their strength, then they should have broken free by themselves. But they needed the mystery of a prophet, which was prophet Moses, to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Mind you, it was not even the rod of Moses that performed all the miracle in the land of Egypt. It was the rod of Aaron. Then if it is by the rod, then the rod of Aaron should have, left the, it should have led the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But by a prophetic 
invasion, the prophetic calling upon the life of Prophet Moses, the children of Israel were, uh, were able to leave the land of captivity. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. The Bible said something in the book of Ezekiel, and Ezekiel said, he said, I prophesy as I am commanded. I prophesy as I am commanded tonight in the name of Jesus. For everyone watching me, life, and everyone who is going to watch, I decree in the name of Jesus, enter into your season of laughter. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Enter into your season of laughter. There's someone watching me and you 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 are, you are, you are going through you are going through some some emotional harassment from your mother-in-law your story is like the story of sarah your story has to do with childbearing god asked me to tell you that according to the time of life according to the same way it is written concerning sarah according to the time of life by this time next year you will carry your own child in the Enter into your season of laughter. Enter into your season of laughter. There is someone watching, or who is going to watch me very soon. I see you. 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 you I see you have a pocket, but it, on on your trousers, I see holes. So you make you make money, but at the end of the day, you cannot account for the money. So because you can't account for that money, it brings sorrow into your family. It brings lack into your. Life. It brings poverty into your life. It brings wretchedness. I de and declare the name of Jesus that is above every other name. Everyone who has been suffering from the from, from the plague of leaking holes, I mean leaking pockets, from the plague of poverty, I decree in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, in this month of laughter, in this session of laughter, in this month of laughter, according to the word of the prophet, Pastor. Frederick Obozwa, I decree in the name of Jesus, I change my statement according to the word of God upon the life of, our, of, of your prophet, prophet ambassador Frederick Obozwa. I decree in the name of Jesus, I join my anointing under his anointing and I decree in the name of Jesus. Everyone watching me right now, enter into your season of laughter. In the name of Jesus, enter into your season of laughter. In the name of Jesus, Lerush Kabani Elegunda Raba Kubra Eke Santelia Damandi Epregadia Ragapali Eswa Kwamba Rike Delish Kabadi Reba Kotokura Magidia Paragadin Diakabara Sanda Rabakata. I decree in the name of Jesus by the prophetic ministry of your prophet, Prophet Frederick Obozwa. I drag you into your feet your season of laughter. I pull you into your season of laughter. I push you into your season of laughter. I deliver you into your season of laughter in the name of Jesus uh, that is above every other name. Uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that is above every other name. Uh, I decree and declare, enter into your season of laughter. Enter into your season of joy. Enter into your season of abundance. Uh, enter into your season of into your season of plenty. There is something that uh, that I know that brings laughter and happiness into a manager. It is the happening of money. I decree in the name of Jesus uh, that is above every other name. Uh, every manager uh, suffering financial going to financial crisis. Uh, I decree in the name of Jesus. Uh, enter into your season of laughter. Enter into your season of laughter. Every home that is suffering from childbearing, every home uh, that is suffering from late childbearing, I decree in the name of Jesus. Uh, receive your baby in the name of Jesus. Uh, every mother of children, uh, everyone who is supposed to be called mother of children, that people have been mocking you on the street and they will ask you, what about children? when they know that you are married but they are expecting you to have a child but you don't have a child yet I decree in the name of Jesus according to the time of life by this time next year you will carry your own children in the name of Jesus you will carry your own children in the name of Jesus you will find your own good job you will find your own good husband there is nothing that brings laughter onto the face of a single sister like having a good husband I decree 
decree and declare every single sister watching me right now in the name of Jesus. Every single brother, there is nothing that gives you peace of mind. It is not just money that gives you peace of mind, but there is a woman that you can marry that will give you peace of mind in your house. I decree in the name of Jesus for every single brother and single sister in the house, that which will cause you laughter, the relationship that will cause you laughter, the marriage that will bring laughter unto you in the name of Jesus. Let I decree and declare you will meet such person in this month of laughter in the name of Jesus. I prophesy by the decree of the waters. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the by, by, by by the decree of your prophet uh, which he has commanded me to bless you. I bless you as I am commanded uh, and commanded by your Lord uh, and commanded and given authority by your prophet, prophet Ambassador Frederick Obozwa. I prophesy upon your life and destiny. Enter into your season of laughter. 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 There is somebody watching me. You lost your job and people are mocking you already that you lost your job. I decree in the name of Jesus, uh, that is above every other name. Uh, get a job that is better than this present job that you just lost. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. It is already 10 21. I believe uh, the time of my ministration is up now. I believe the man of God will soon come up. And I want you all to prepare your hearts, prepare your hearts, because you know, I told you before, I said the man of God is going to come up and is going to decree prophetic words into your life. I want you to do something before he began to speak. I want you to sow into his life. He didn't send me. He didn't send me. What did I say? If you can write it, it's good you write it. He didn't send me to raise seed. He does not need it. The ground does not need your seed. It, a farmer is not doing the ground a favor by sowing seed. It is the farmer that is doing itself favor. Because when you sow a head of yam, you are coming back to reap a tuber of yam. When you sow grains of corn, you are coming back to heap a big comb of corn. When you sow a mango seed, you are coming back not just to only have one mango, but you are coming back to have plenty of mango. When you sow a seed of orange, you are not just going to have orange back, but you are going to have sweetness. And you are going to have something that will have vitamin into your life. I want you to know that you don't sow into your prophet's life for your prophet to be blessed. Your prophet does not need your money. You are the one that needs your prophet. I am saying this under every humility that Pastor Frederick Obozwa does not need you. You are the one that needs him. As single as Moses was, Moses does not need the Israelites. It's the Israelite that needed Moses. If the Israelites are to come upon Moses as a human being, they can kill Moses, yes. But the truth is, as long as it is in the Bible, Israel need Moses. Moses does not need the Israelites. God even said something. He said, let me wipe all these people away. And through you, Moses, I will bring a new generation. But Moses said, no, 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 God, no. I don't want to. I know I can produce a new generation. But no, 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 no. I don't want it to happen in my time. Let these people be your people. Let these people be your people. And God respected him. So remember what I'm telling you. Your prophet does not need you. You are the one that needs your prophet. Thank you very much, Pastor Fred, for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We can't hear you, sir. Sorry, I've not missed my mic. I was carried away. Sorry about that. Now, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to emphasize on one word he said, not because I'm saying so to me, but I believe if we sow to this grace, the Lord is going to grease it. But there's something he said, the siege of barrenness ended because of a seed. Sir, even my own seed of laughter is already prepared, sir. Yes. No man of God that comes here and say, so is it. I sow. I'm a giver. I'm a giver. So it's what 
such as you have, you give. If you are not a giver, you cannot be a giver. Givers never lack, and lackers never give. Mm. Hallelujah. Now, Pastor Jeff, God bless you, sir. God bless you. I am super excited anytime you preach. I'm telling you. Thank you I'm very much. Sir. And let me tell you the truth. I don't know if it's second to the last day again, you are still going to join me again. I'm telling you. And on Tuesday, we'll be having my own doctor, Emmanuel Johnson. He approved wow. it today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need to see talk to Pastor Abraham Moses. That's Dr. Abraham Moses. He too must minister. I, 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 let me tell you the truth. There are people that God has brought my way. I sleep. I sleep in rest. Because why? They are people after God's heart. Not, af not people after the work, but after God's heart. Those are two things. There are people after the work. There are people after God. The work can fail in someone's heart, but God can fail in the person's life. Mm, now, no matter what they have said to you, that you don't have a womb, like he said, or you don't have a child, but you have a womb. Mm. You may be well shrinking in age without evidence, but don't forget, you still have you to give birth to an evidence. Mm. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. Now, while you are ministering, the Holy Spirit was bringing this song to my mind. I want everybody to join me and sing it. The rain of miracle is falling on you today. Oh, let it fall. Let it all on me today. Akaji Yoke is falling on me today. Ah. Sing it one more time. The rain of miracles, the rain of miracles is falling on me this month. Ayaya, let it fall. It will fall on me this month. Now, let me tell you this, sir. Uh, one of when while you were talking, man of God, he said there's gonna yes, be sir. a rain of miracles. Amen. I'm telling you, it's good. He said there's gonna be a rain of miracles Hallelujah. this September. Hallelujah. Man of God, I won't lie to you. When the Lord told me the this month is a month of laughter, mm -hmm. delivery and laughter. And he said to me on the first, he said, there's going to be a daily financial laughter. Mm. Sir, I won't lie. Every day it kept coming. I decree. Receive. Okay, if you have not been receiving your own daily, start your own daily from now. Receive Amen. daily financial laughter in the name of Jesus. Amen. There are people that don't think when they are giving. That's the kind of person I am. I don't think. Okay, well, see, when I sort bills, anything on me, I don't think. I don't think. You know why? Because he does not think before he blesses me. Mm. He does not think before he releases. Because if he would have thought of it, people like me, I should have not been associated with anybody. Nobody should associate with me. I know. But the Lord had me to tell you. Man of God, while you were in ministry, the Lord took me to Mark chapter 5. You, 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 you came there, but the Holy Spirit took me. He dived me into it. Mark 39. No, Mark 5 verse 39. I want us to see something there before we go. Mark 9, 39 to verses number 41. Mark 5, 39 to 41. Please put it up on the screen. I want us to see something. Mm. My God. The Bible said, And when he was come in, he said unto them, Why make ye this adult? That means, why make this noise, weeping and all that? And weep. 
The damsel is not dead, but mm. sleepeth. Your situation is sleeping, but not dead. Mm. So that is why one time, man of God, the Bible said, David talking, he said, my glory, awake, awake. I say awake. You know mm. why? That man's glory was sleeping. Mm. Many of you, your glory is sleeping. But this month, your glory will awake. Amen. Amen. The glory that makes men laugh will be seen in your life. Amen. Now watch this. Is about not dead, but sleeping. Verse 40. Verse 40. Now there are that, that he, he was talking about that. That there are people you need to send off your life. Separate yourself from them. They don't think what you think, they don't see what you see. Now, like, like, like I'm telling someone that. I made a statement like, oh, Lord, give me $3,000. And somebody's like, where will he get it from? Why the person say, where will he get it from? I'm getting $300 already. Somebody's thinking, oh, he's just talking. So I'm getting $300. You are still talking, I'm getting on that $100. You know why? There are things you see, you say. Others must not see what you have said. Mm. It is you that it was revealed to. Not us, but you. Mm. My own is different from our own. Mm -hmm. hmm. Now look at verse 40. I want you to hold this before we go. But, hey, and they loved him to scorn. They loved him to scorn. Who are they laughing at? Jesus. Listen. If they laugh at you today and you decide to give up, it is not the people laughing fault. In fact, they should laugh at you again. It is your fault to give in to their laughter. If someone looks at you and says you are going to die and you are worried that you will die, actually you will die. Mm. Exactly. You bring a negative prophecy to me, I will look at you and look at the prophecy. Then I, me, I will now prophesy to you. Mm. There's something my, me and my wife were discussing this morning, this afternoon we are coming back. So, somebody major made a statement. And that statement traveled with me for a while. She was shocked when I counted it this morning. And the Lord said, oh, now your life now is determined on that thing the person said. I challenged it. Now, until you challenge what people are laughing at you with, mm -hmm. that laughter will continue. The Bible said they loved him to scorn. If you read New King James Version, it says, they ridiculed him. They what? Ridiculed him. Other translators, the, the crowd, NLT say, the crowd laughed at him. There are some of you, the whole area is laughing at you. Look at you, you are not married. Look at you, you don't have a job. Look at you, you are a single mother. Let them be laughing. But have you turned their laughter to your own tongue to laugh. Until you turn their laughter to your tongue to laugh. That is when actually the real sound heaven wants to hear. The sound heaven wants us to hear is the sound of the child is back to life. Not mm. Jesus being consigned. Leaving the purpose to pursue nonsense. Why are you people laughing at me? Why Jesus was not consigned. He went to the subject and sent those out that does not believe in what he's about to do. Some of you, the, your problem is you see people that don't believe in you, you are still entangling yourself with them. Yeah. See, I am one person. If I don't stay where I am not celebrated, not Oh, so like, oh, this pastor Jeff, this pastor Fred, this pastor. No, 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 no. I'm not after that. 
But what, where what you carry is not celebrated, very soon, eh, you will go into extinction. Mm. So Jesus knew that the concise subject was the father and the mother. He sent everybody away. There are times you must send people away. There are times quarrel must make you separate from people. Mm. Sir, there are people, if you refuse to set, separate with them, God will cause quarrel. Mm. Yeah, that's true. It has happened to me. It will just cause a quarrel. The, the, the early apostles, they refused to scatter themselves. God made persecution become his ticket to separate them. Are you hearing me, everybody? Now, look at this. I'm going somewhere. He said, they loved him to scorn. But when he had put them all out, hmm, he taken the father and the mother. See, no matter how the earth is complaining, the sun and the moon is not consigned. The father represents the sun. The moon represents the mother. So no matter what the earth is saying, the sun and the moon is less consigned. Watch this. And those, okay, he said, and them that were with him, and entered in where the damsel was lying. Now, people have laughed at your present state. Verse 41 now. Everybody, let's see 41. 41. 41, it says. Oh, 41 is about to happen to people. Amen. He said, and he took the damsel by the hand. Because they have mocked you, Jesus will take you by the hand. Amen. I said, because they have mocked you, Jesus will take you by the hand this month. Amen. Because they have looked down on you, Jesus will look down to you. Amen. Ay, 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 ay. They look down on you, Jesus will look down to you. Amen. And when Jesus looked down to you, look at what he will do to you. He took the dancer by the hand and said unto her, Talita, come in. Talita, come in. Which was translated or interpreted. Dam said, I said unto thee, arise. Now, this month, that which has made you cry, is God is about to use it to lift you up. That's what he told me. He said, everything that has made you cry, everything that has made you cry is about to use it to lift you up. I said, everything that has made you cry is about to use it to lift you up. Somebody type it, everything that has made me cry, God is about to use it to lift me up. All oh, that has made me cry. God is about to use those tears to lift me up. There were professional mourners there. You know, there are people, they pay them to cry. Oh, yes, they pay them to cry. Now, those they pay to cry overnight, I believe the parents will collect their money. And those that were pretending the parents will send them away immediately. There are two sets of people in this world. Those believing in you and those that don't believe in you. Everyone that does not believe in your dream, they are about to see God lift you through that same dream. They didn't believe in the dream of Joseph, but God used that same dream to humble them. I prophesy. God will use that same thing that was denied you 
to glorify himself in your life. Mm -hmm. Pastor Jeff, let me tell you something. Many years ago, I think I used to borrow shoe from a friend there. One time, I remember he said the shoe. He said, I'm filing the shoe. Because I wore the shoe. I looked at him. I laughed. Then I'll borrow his suit. He was... <laughs> but today, sir, today, I give out suits. In fact, there are suits I can't remember when last I wore it. You know why? The same thing they mocked me with last time, years ago. I give them out now. You know why? God has turned those same things they've mocked me with. Now I have them in surplus. Then, sir, oh God. Oh God. Have you seen where you have a wristwatch? There's no engine inside, right? But it has glass. So you be pretend, uh, okay, the time is not to know. It's not working. Today, I have wristwatches. I remember those days, sir. <laughs> oh, God. Casing, casing, phone casing. I hold it. Hello, 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 hello. There was so that my friends would not laugh me. But today, that is why I am very sure the enemy might see your today and laugh at you. But they are not sure of your tomorrow. Hey! They are not sure of your tomorrow, sir. They are not sure of your tomorrow, ma'am. But he that is sure that he said it in the book of Jeremiah 29 verse 11. He said, for I know the thoughts I think towards you. Stop thinking what people are saying. Think what he has thought. Yes, yes, Stop thinking what people have said. Think what he has thought. I prophesy. I receive. Mostly for, to everyone that is going to sow a seed of laughter. Mm. Father, if you made Sarah laugh, mm. make them laugh. Amen. If you made Sarah laugh, make them laugh. Amen. But if you do not make Sarah laugh, don't make them laugh. Mm. Lord, I bring scriptures before you. Mm. Prove to them that scriptures were inscribed by you. Mm. And the Lord said to me, if you have anyone that is sick, that same sickness that have kept that person moody. Between now and tomorrow, that person is healed. Amen. I said, between now and tomorrow, that person is healed. Amen. That same sickness that made you squeeze your face, that has taken laughter from you and joy from you, happiness from you, that same sickness, by this time, as the day is breaking, you will break into laughter. Ah, Thor says the Lord, I hear God when I hear him. Thor says the Lord, he said, this week, you will break into laughter. Amen. You will burst into laughter. Amen. Somebody type it, this week, I will burst into laughter. Amen. That means as you wake up, I said, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you know what he just did? Satan, I'm up. Be warned. Hey! You will not wake up with tears this week. I'm prophesying to your week already. This week, you will not wake up with tears. You will not wake up with tears. You will not wake up unto tears this week. You will not wake up in tears. You will not wake up unto tears. How do you wake up unto tears? As you go out, you meet evil. So you now, that means you woke up into tears. This week, that's not your portion. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Wow. Thank you so much. I believe the little added time to yes, um, this ministration was not in vain. Pastor Jeff, thank God you bless you, sir. Amen. God bless you, sir. Amen. Sir, this week, this week, if I, your week has started from today, sir. Amen. 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 From today. In fact, Amen. you think today is over. No, sir. Your daily benefit of laughter, you will start Amen. with it this night. Amen. Monday, you will receive it. Amen. Tuesday, you will receive it. Amen. Sir, I am such as happens to me. That's what I'm telling you. Amen. Every day, sir. You see that scripture? It have never been written in the Bible. 
thou loaded us daily with thy benefits. Yes, sir. My eyes would have not crossed this out. And on that scripture again, he said, and daily allowance was given to him. Ah, mm -hmm. those are my secrets. Sir, receive daily benefits. Amen. Receive daily allowance. Amen. Ministers of God, we live by allowance. Heaven gives us allowance. Sir, enter into the list of allowance. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Thank you very much, sir. Amen. And to everybody that's been watching, just wake up laughing. Because this week, every day, you will burst into laughter. You will burst into laughter. Please, don't wake up thinking. Wake up laughing. And see what the devil will do. The devil will excuse you. In Jesus' name. God bless you, sir. Thank you for having you. God bless you. Until we see you again, sir. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Now, please, I want to say this to you. If you don't have Christ in your life, if you are not a believer, I'm not talking about confessing Jesus is Lord. Jesus already Lord, we know. But if you don't believe that he died because of you and he rose because of you, you are the one I'm talking to tonight. So you need to accept it that he died, he rose because of you. So join me as we pray this prayer. Father, as many that wants to receive you as one that came to die for them and as one that came, that you came to die and re rose up for them. Father, receive them, accept them into the fold of those you died for and those you resurrected for. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless unto UK. I've been missing you. God bless unto UK. God bless you, man. Every one of you, you are blessed. Um, uh, Aku, Aku Baze, Ifi, I pray for you. The Lord will give you a miracle. Amen. Aku Baze, Ifi, the Lord will give your family a miracle. No doctor's report must can take your laughter. No doctor's report must take your laughter. Amen. Your laughter is of God, and no man can cause you not to laugh. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you all. God bless you. God bless you. I want to say this to you. You are all blessed. Hallelujah. So tomorrow, join me again. I'm telling you the truth. God is going to be glorified and you will laugh because it's your turn to laugh. As we are closing, I want everybody to type, it's my turn to laugh. Go ahead and type, it's my turn to laugh. Because as soon as you type that, that is to say, this week will make you laugh. Go ahead and say, it's my turn to laugh as we share the grace. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name for the minister of God I just ministered. We thank you for even my life. We thank you for this platform. We thank you for this platform is protected in you. Because, Lord, you have caused us to laugh. It's our turn to laugh. Everybody, everybody, make sure you are typing that. It's my turn to laugh. God bless you all. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us. Now and forevermore. Amen. I want to say this to you. No matter what the matter is, you, a matter where it matters most. Till I come your way by 9 p.m. Nigerian time tomorrow, keep enjoying your season of laughter. It's your turn to laugh. God bless you. Thank you, Father.